Hi everybody, it's been a few weeks now since I last recorded a video. Um, I've been traveling up and down the country visiting our 16 branches and just checking on how all the staff are doing plus working out plans for, for the remainder of this year on how we operate, how we try and maximize the opportunities for inquiries and bookings and how we start rebuilding and recovering after what has been a, a truly awful pandemic for everybody and, and for our industry with regards to holidays and cruises. Um, I'm really pleased to bring you some positive news this week. Um, you hopefully saw some of this last week reported on the news, but cruising has been uh, authorised to uh, recommence internationally uh, from this week, which is phenomenal news. Um, we've been really pleased to be able to get so many of our wonderful customers away on UK cruises this summer, whether it be tr uh, travelling along the Cornish coast or up to Scotland, around to Belfast, up to Liverpool, uh, wherever it is that people have been able to go to, it's just been great to see them get back on ships and enjoy that fine dining, those fantastic drinks and all of the entertainment you get when you're on board a ship. I know a lot of people have really missed getting to different countries though so we're really positive that over the coming months we'll start being able to see those ships sail further again so you'll be able to start seeing people go up to um, the fjords and go up to Iceland you'll be able to hopefully see people go down to the Canary Islands uh, go over to the Caribbean uh, do all those kind of winter destinations autumn destinations that we've missed for so long. Um, one of the things that we've been working on behind the scenes over the last few weeks is a new digital magazine. Uh, hopefully you've already seen this this week, but we've created a cruising magazine just to focus on the biggest part of our business at the moment that is recovering fastest. We're already seeing huge amounts of bookings for next year, for 2023, and believe it or not, we've already seen a splattering of bookings for 2024. But we also know that there's many cruisers who've had all of their cruises cancelled over the last couple of years that are still desperate to get away this late summer, autumn or winter. So we put together some real good offers, some hot deals, uh, where you can hopefully find something that might appeal for you this year when you've had so much cancelled already. Uh, there's links that you'll be able to click on from this e-blast or you can find us on social media or just pop into any of our stores and we'll be able to talk you through what offers we've got available for you for this year. We've also included some deals for next year as well because I know that many people want to get more and more booked up for next year. Demand is already incredibly high for next year. Things will sell out because we're all desperate to go away. We're all looking forward to getting on those cruises again. So please, please get in contact and we can start looking at those cruises for you. Of course, holidays are back on the cards as well. The Amber watch list has thankfully been cancelled and uh, the government are looking to make it uh, confirmed. As I record this now, we haven't had the information on what might go on the green list this week. Uh, but hopefully we will include some of those on the e-blast as well so you can get the update there as well. Anybody that's looking to travel this year, please just contact your travel agent so that you can go through what's required, what information you need, uh, and then we can get you back on those wonderful holidays. Even more positive news as well for us recently, every year the travel industry come together to celebrate success and thankfully Fred Olsen Travel have always been part of that and in 2019 we were crowned as best large agency in the east of England, uh, a, a reward that was uh, recognised of, of all of my staff's hard work with regards to what they do for our customers in finding those perfect holidays. I'm really pleased that we've again been uh, uh, announced as a finalist in this category and we are also a finalist in the category for the south of the England uh, for our South Coast shops there. So we've all got our fingers crossed that we can we can claim some more awards um, uh, with the travel industry there as well. It's also great to be able to nominate some staff for this as well. And I'm, I'm, I'm really proud and pleased to announce that Charlotte Robson from our Westbourne branch in Bournemouth has made it through to the final of Top Leisure Agent Salesperson of the Year. This is a national award uh, and out of about 130 nominees, she's uh, part of a very short shortlist. Um, and again, we've got our fingers crossed that in September she'll be picking up that national award for us. I'm also really pleased, somebody that sits behind our scenes, doesn't sit in one of the shops, but my cruise development manager, Rachel Brinkley, works incredibly hard in not only helping create some of the marketing that we put together for cruise, but keeping all of the staff informed, helping with the refunds, helping with the rebooks, uh, and genuinely driving our cruise business um, forwards uh, through you, our customers. And, and Rachel Brinkley's made it through as a finalist for support person of the year for the travel industry. Again, a massive recognition for all of the hard work she does for Fred Olsen Travel.
Um, all of this we couldn't do without our wonderful customers. So please keep booking with us. Please keep inquiring with us. We're, we're, we're back open, as you know. Uh, we are still doing reduced hours at the moment. So 10 till 4, Monday to Friday, 10 till 2 on Saturdays. A couple of anomalies, so please just speak to your branch. We are looking forward to getting those uh, hours stretched over the coming months as cruising and holidays comes back in a, a bigger form. Uh, and as you know, we are here for you whenever you are ready to start booking up, whether it's for this year, next year, 2023, or even if you're thinking about 2024, there are a few options available. As always, keep well, enjoy your summer holidays, whatever you're doing. And remember, come and see us and we can help you out with those cruises and holidays. Thank you ever so much.